Welcome to the next video on SQLite. In this video, I'm going to discuss right ahead logging. There's a new feature in SQLite 3.7.0. The traditional rollback, uh, the traditional way of, of logging, of, of doing transactions, is to use a rollback journal where a copy of the un original database is saved in a separate rollback journal file and then the writing and then the changes are written to the database. That way, when a crash happens, or a rollback of a transaction happens, the original content in the rollback journal is played back into the database to, re to revert it to its original state. And of course, the commit happens when the rollback journal is de deleted. The write-ahead logging approach is opposite. The original content is preserved in the database file, and the changes to the database, the writes, are appended to a separate rollback uh, write-ahead log file. And then a commit occurs when um, the uh, contents of that file are are put into the database. These are just two different approaches. Um, the main benefits of, uh, of write-ahead logging is that it significantly improves write speed and it also improves concurrency because readers cannot block writers and single writers cannot block readers. So let's have Let's take it out for a spin. The first thing I'm going to use is I'm using the Ruby programming language and the amalgalite gem. So if I go gem list amalgalite minus local, you'll see that, whoops, there we go. It's 0.14.0. .0. That's the one that has SQLite version 3.7.0. If you don't have that version of the gem, uh, you can just go gem install ml go light minus source http colon slash slash copious free time dot org slash gems. So this is where uh, Jeremy Heingartner has put his amalgalite gem, which drives SQL light. Uh, I, I suspect the the gem is there. Uh, because uh, it he just updated it within the last couple of days to use SQL Lite 3.7. All right, so let's uh, let's try something. So I'll fire up the um, we'll try a, a, a version with no write ahead logging. So that's the default mode for SQL Lite. So you go IRB, and then you, um, you have to require. You have to require uh, oops. and try that again. Edit and paste. Ah, shoot. Okay, never mind. Where am I? Oh. Okay. You have to go require Ruby gems. And require amalgalite. Okay, then you have to create a database. Uh, so I'll just say db equals amalgalite. So I'll create a new database called nowall.db. Now, if I go db.execute db.execute um, pragma journal mode. The word is called delete. Now this is SQLite's way of saying that we're not working in write-ahead logging mode. We're actually working in the default mode, which is using the traditional rollback journal. So what I'm going to do is execute a test that writes a whole bunch of stuff into a database. So I'm just going to copy it from my clipboard and I'm going to paste it in and let it rip. And this is going to take a while. And the test is over. Now this test took quite a while. It took actually four minutes and 14 seconds. 4 minutes and 14 seconds. That's a long time. 
but it was basically a test that created a table with a uh, the primary key and into some random integer and random string and then inserted 30,000 random entries into the test and it took four minutes to complete this um, that's a long time so now what I'm going to do is quit out of here and now we're going to do the same test uh, using write ahead logging Oops, hang on so back into the uh, Ruby um, interactive Ruby and again I ha I'll do the same thing um, whoops there we go okay so I'm going to have to again uh, require I need the R Ruby gems and I need amalgolite then I'm going to create a new database um, now if I check the pragma journal mode you'll notice again db.execute there we go pragma journal mode it's the delete mode now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change that to be uh, to be in write ahead logging mode so you do that by um, you execute pragma journal mode equals capital W A L and again this is what you have to run in SQL Lite because write ahead logging is not the default mode now that changes it you'll notice to wall mode now you have to quit out because you do have to restart your application so I'm going to quit out and then I'll go back Okay, RB and I'll uh, do that again. So require Ruby gems, require amalgalite, open in the, the, the database called wall.db. Okay, and this is the critical piece. It says now it's in write ahead logging mode. Now what I'm going to do is um, okay. So now I know it's in write ahead logging mode. I'm going to run the same test now. So I'm going to again do um, I'll just copy it from my scratch pad. So I'm going to again create a table. I'm going to create a table with a with a string with an integer key uh, with some with a random integer and random string, and um, in, in, again insert thirty thousand rows and we'll see what we get. Here it goes. Okay, and you'll notice now now the test is run again. We did the same thing. Uh, thirty thousand rows in insert random stuff. And we'll notice that it actually took only uh, 40, 41 and 7, 48 seconds. So we're talking about 48 seconds versus 4 minutes and 14 seconds. Um, this shows clearly that right ahead logging gives you some tremendous speed benefits, uh, performance benefits compared to. Um, compared to <coughs> using rollback. This means that if you're any application that's write intensive um, will benefit tremendously from using write ahead logging uh, in SQLite. Again, make sure you use SQLite 3.7 and use a piece of software to drive it uh, that knows about 3.7. So if you're in Ruby, use Amalgalite version 0 0.14. Um, what write ahead logging will do then is help you write faster uh, database backed web applications and applications in general. Uh, there are a few downsides, so you can go to sqlite.org. If you go to um, www.sqlite.org slash wall.htm, then uh, you'll see, oh, it's HTML, sorry, HTML. Then you'll see, um, you know, all the details, the pros and cons. Generally, it's a pro. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video.